Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, second video of the day and we will speak about one topic only, one name only and I'm sure that this video will make a lot of you discuss in the comment section because I'm convinced that some of you will be pro, some of you will be against what I will reveal you in a second. How many? The percentage? I'm not sure. So I'm curious to read all your comments about it. But yes, we will speak about Juan Panita Cuadrado because a few hours ago, from Colombia, with, where he is at the moment with his national team, he revealed something in front of the microphone. He said, yes, Juventus offered me a contract extension. What are the details? I will tell you in a second. Is it right or is it wrong? You will be the one that decide about that. But I will try to explain you the logic behind it and trying to find a why. On the other side, we will also touch about the meeting that should have been held today in La Continassa between Juventus management and Allegri. There was no meeting in La Continassa. On the other side, there was a secret meeting in Milano between Giovanni Manna and Max Allegri. All the details in a second, but of course, I'm asking you, as I did this morning to put a maximum of like on the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet, and you know it, Mercato never sleeps, Mercato is crazy, so if you want to, notification ring on so that you have always the latest news here on YouTube. Anyway, we start with Juan Cuadrado. Speaking about spoiling, because he did it again, it's not the first time that Juan pa Cuadrado is spoiling news, that it should probably keep secret. Anyway, in the past, it happened with the shirts, 15, 16 shirt, I believe, from Adidas that he was already spoiling on Instagram while he had absolutely no green light to do it. And he did it again, I believe, two or three years later with the shirt 17, 18, where he was outside on the parking and under his jacket, you could already see the new stripes of Juventus. And guys, this is about the shirts. If we are speaking about other spoils that he did, I believe, if I'm not wrong, that he already spoiled in the past some parts of the body of Leonardo Bonucci in the showers. But that's, that's another story. Anyway, let's go back to the serious thing about Mercato Talks. Well, today, out of nowhere, he goes in front of the microphone. And what is he saying? Actually, he said, they made me an offer, Juventus. But at the moment, I'm not really thinking about it because I'm thinking about the national team of Colombia. I told them that I will talk about it later. Hopefully, we can find a nice agreement and we can continue to play in elite level, at high level, because he said it as well, Juventus is home. I feel like home at Juventus. Mi casa, mi casa, because this is what Cuadrado is and how he's feeling at Juventus. Don't forget, Cuadrado, it's already a player that played eight seasons with Juventus from 2015-16 until now, eight seasons, 314 appearances with Juve. The shirt is in the museum, 26 goals for him. This season, one of the players that played most games, 47, with a total of 3,290 minutes. So, Cuadrado, is it right? Is it wrong? What is the logic behind it? Well, let's speak about it. Juan Cuadrado is a player that is 35. Already last year, it was his potential last season with Juventus. But because he reached 40 appearances, he received the automatic renewal. And a lot of people were already not 100% convinced about it. I said, if we keep Juan Cuadrado one more year, the logic of Juventus in that 4-3-3 would be that Juan Cuadrado is a bench player. A bench player that when you need him, he comes up. He didn't want to negotiate back then. He said, we continue one more, one more year at the same salary, if I'm not wrong, a salary of 5 million euro net, which is a lot, but it was his last year of contract. I accepted it. I have to admit that the season of Cuadrado, and we said it last time, started in a real disaster way. Also, because Cuadrado was totally out of form and because of injury, he was obliged to play every single game. Do you also remember that last game before the World Cup against Lazio? He was totally destroyed, out of shape, but also slightly injured. And he sacrificed himself for the team because there was absolutely no other player at that moment to play. The season of Cuadrado after the World Cup didn't start really well because he was still injured. And then he came back where he did an OK season, not a fantastic one, but an OK season. All of us were thinking that it was the last season with Cuadrado. We were already thinking to say goodbye to him until a few weeks ago when we heard that possibly Juventus was thinking to give him an extension. And from there, controversy with people that said, absolutely not. What is Juventus doing? Why are you extending a player that is 35 and will be in May next year, 36, a player that 
probably is past his time. He had already difficulties to dribble past his man. It's not the Cuadrado of three, four years ago. It's not the same one anymore. It's not the one that is giving you 20 assists anymore in a season. He is not a starter. Well, I try to think, why are we giving him that contract extension? I believe that the first important decision has been taken. The lineup, or at least the basic lineup, the one that we start with. And I believe we go towards a four-man defense. What does that mean? That if you go towards a four-man defense to play a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 or whatever, you go with fullbacks. And at the moment, we have zero fullbacks for different reasons. Because Alexandro, I don't know if he will stay or not, but he can't play anymore as a left back. He has already difficulty to play a full game at Juventus. So imagine as a left back. We saw with this season. Danilo prefers to play in the center. And he was better in the center than as a right back. De Chilio, big injury. He will not be there until January. And I believe that that injury of De Chilio is also partly the cause of why Cuadrado you are extending him. The only one at the moment that we know that will be one of the fullbacks is Cambiaso, but we didn't even test him. When we signed him from another club last season, he came to Juve, he signed, and the day after he was already gone. He never even, never even trained with Juve. He will have the possibility to show himself in the summer camp in USA. But is he a real starter of Juventus? Is it enough to have only Cambiaso? No. If you want to go with four-man defense, you need at least four fullbacks. Today we are hearing a lot of names. Mazzocchi on the right side, cheap players, cheap names, Hulm from a relegate team, Spezia, that would, could come between the five, seven million euro. So cheap names, why? Because you don't have a lot of budget. Ragazzi, this morning we spoke about it. Yesterday we again spoke about it. A lot of people, experts of journalism, they told you, even the CEO told you, it will be a difficult mercato. If you could have a quadrado for free, for zero euro at Juventus, being the bench player that can offer you 15, 20 games, why not? Especially because the offer, and we heard it clearly in the words of Quadrado, is an offer that will see his, low, his salary much lower. Today's five. It could be that we are offering him a 2 million a year. 2 million for one more year at Juve. Grazie. 2 million a year for a player that knows about Juve inside, that can help you to integrate a new right back. Why not? Di Maria is gone. Sule will be probably loaned out or sold. We have nobody on the right side. We are even speaking about maybe Chiesa leaving Juventus. So it's a player that can play a double position in a 4-3-3, can play as a right back, as a sub, but also a sub up front for 2 million euro, a quadrado. I'm not saying no. Of course, ideally, I would love that we have two new right backs. Federico Chiesa that take a decision to play maybe on the right side or maybe finding a player, I don't know, Zagnolo or whatever player there on the right side so that you have your players and you stop. You turn the page and you don't think about Quadrado anymore. On the other side, if I'm thinking financially and ragazzi, if you're still here after eight minutes, how many times will I repeat you? We don't have a lot of money. We need to recuperate between the 100 and the 120 million euro. If Quadrado is allowing me to spend zero euro for him, but instead taking a bit of money and increase the name of another fullback, I'm saying yes. If Quadrado is allowing me to sign a player like Parisi or Carlos Augusto, instead of other strange mid names, well, I'm all in for that. The big mistake that Juventus could potentially do, and that's what they can't do, is thinking that Quadrado is a starter, is thinking that they can use again Quadrado for 47 games, for 3,290 minutes. This is not correct. This would be a big mistake. Am I pro? Am I against? Look, guys, I tell you honestly, I was already saying goodbye to Quadrado. I also thought it was the moment on the other side. I know that he really wants to stay at Juve which means totally nothing. But on the other side, if I know that we take a decision to play with four men in defense, if he cost me zero and that money we can reinvest on a better player and he is considered really, and he understands as well that he is a rotational bench player, I, I understand the logic. 
with the tools and the budget that we have, I can potentially understand the logic. Now, that meeting between Allegri and Manna, what did they speak about? Not a lot of things. Actually, they gave him an update about the first contact that they made with some players, with some names that at the moment are secret. And I'm expecting maybe this evening or maybe tomorrow to hear these names. And then they spoke about the possible renewal discussions. Renewal discussion, they are speaking about potentially Rabiot, potentially Quadrado. Quadrado already spoiled it. Rabiot didn't say anything. Well, let's see. I'm really curious. Ragazzi, let me know in the comment, pro or against. The only thing that you have to know, it's a decision from the club. Cost saving, cost saving, cost saving. This has been offered to Max Allegri. This is the situation. You agree or not, let us know, but this is where we are going to. Now we are waiting for Quadrado to take a decision. After the games with Colombia, he will tell us yes or no if he will remain with us one more year. Ciao ragazzi, grazie, forza. Juve.